It's a technique that's gaining popularity among muskie hunters. Trolling is putting more fish in the boat faster than ever before. Trolling muskies, uh, as opposed to chunking muskie baits, we can put two or three times the baits in the water and rip the shorelines and cover 10 times as much water. So your, your thousand casts to rise a fish, your 10,000 casts to catch a fish, well, trolling, we're doing 10,000 casts and four or five hours of trolling. Pro walleye angler Brad Ertel has perfected this technique, and on this warm August evening, it took just 45 minutes to hook a fish. We're going four miles an hour. It, it, it helps us cover a lot more water, a lot more lines in the water. You can't do that uh, one rod in hand casting baits as well. That's good, you can leave the rest. Job. You can just leave it right there on the end of the boat. When you get the fish close enough to the boat and the actual end result's going to be there and you see the netting is going to happen, because by that time you have a pretty good view or visibility on how well it's hooked. And if it's a good hook and you get it in the net, it's, it's rewarding here. Like, we got this one. First fish of the day. This is a good fish. This is a well over 40 inch muskie. Beautiful fish, uh, clean lines, good shape. A lot of people don't realize how fantastic of a musky fishery the St. Croix River is. Nice St. Croix musk. It's great. I mean, it's, it's up there with uh, Minnetonka, which is well known in the area of being a great musky fishery. Uh, the St. Croix River produces, there's a lot of fish in this body of water that will easily push the 50 inch and probably over that mark. It, it's just a a fantastic fishery with lots of muskies to offer. Get her back in the water. Ah. She wouldn't even let me pump her, she just wanted to go. How deep are we? The St. Croix River is Ertl's home water. Walleyes are his bread and butter, but musky fishing is a favorite pastime. Musky fishing is exceptionally challenging because they're very hard to figure out and catch. And when you do catch them, you're bringing in 25, 30 pound fish, and that's pretty neat. And they're elusive and they're a beautiful fish. I, I just, uh, it appeals to me. I mean, bringing in big fish, you need a bigger net and you need to be more aware of how to handle them and not get bit. When you're trolling for muskies, you never know what you may hook up with. This is a northern pike. No, I won't net this one. Just a small northern pike. Man, they're aggressive today. We're gonna get another fish. In less than an hour, another fish was on. This time, Brad's friend Keith battled the muskie. When working with fish like muskie and pike, Ertl recommends fishing gloves. Gloves help me uh, not get cut up and I'm more confident when I handle the fish and, and in, in the long run or in the, the end result is that the muskie's healthier when I release them because I don't have to be tentative and drop them three or four times. It just, it's just, it's safer for everyone. Another 36, 37 inch muskie. You wanna hold on to him? We'll get her back in the water. Being careful with these giants is regular practice for muskie anglers. The for Ertl, the release is just as rewarding as the catch. They're a lot of fun to catch, but getting them in the boat and working through them, getting them back in the water safely and having a, a good release with a healthy fish, awesome. There she goes. Good work. 